Hello. So are you? Me. Thank you very much for your time. Eh, ¿Cómo fue la idea de candidatearse a la presidencia de la ITF? Well, the idea is not new and was born many years ago because I think that I have some good plans to develop our ITF further and to put it on the place where it deserves. And uh, it was the confidence and also the motivation of the board of directors uh, that I uh, shall go as a candidate for presidency. But not only the board, but also some country representatives uh, who expressed their wish that I should go. And I have the experience of 18 years being the president of ITF Germany, being 16 years on the board of directors and also working on the African continent for 10 years. So I think that uh, it can be a good way to develop our ITF further. Gran Maestro, ¿cuál es el plan suyo para el futuro de la ITF? Well, one of the main goals is to develop the continents. Mm -hmm. uh, you may know that uh, I have been working on the African continent for 10 years now. And of course the work is not finished yet. But I established already a team to continue the work I started 10 years ago. And the, strat the structure and the strategy to develop Africa more is there. So I also want to involve younger people. It's very important for our future in the ITF. And this is the first step. When I go, for example, to the Caribbean or the Central and South America, situation is a little bit different. Africa is very young, but in South America, Central America, we have already federations with a long history, with uh, good passion, and we have the biggest federation, membership federation in uh, South America, Argentina. And on the other hand, we have some countries with a small federation, and the reason for that is a manifold. So sometimes uh, it is the political situation, the financial situation, even the weather conditions can uh, have an influence on the development. When I look back uh, in 2017-18, when for example Puerto Rico was hit by a, a, a very big storm and some instructors and masters, for example Master Gato Gato, he lost uh, many uh, uh, Um, opportunities so he had to restart his school and all these things so this is also influencing and it is my wish and my dream that to develop the Central and South America and the Caribbeans to do the same as I started in, in Africa with a team to go with a team Uh, not only for the technical part, but also to help in administrative things, maybe to help with uh, the organization of competitions and so on and so on. But, of course, I need help and support of the countries itself. What does it mean? This means I need uh, the ideas of the people, what is the need, what kind of help do they, they need and so on. So this is for sure, this is one of the steps uh, we have and to go with a team. So also here I want to involve many people, younger people, to take over responsibilities and to give support. Well, the other continent is uh, Australia, Oceania. Australia and New Zealand are strong countries in membership and also in structure. So these countries can help the neighbor countries mm -hmm. and even to develop uh, Asia, to give help to Asia. What is your idea to Asia? Well, Asia, when you look uh, in our history, Taekwondo homeland is, is Korea. And when we see Korea nowadays, we do not have a member in Korea. We do not have members in Singapore. We have a small membership in Vietnam no. and uh, hopefully Malaysia is growing now 
But these four countries I mentioned, they were the founding members in 1966 for the ITF. And Asia is not only that, it is the biggest continent we have in number of uh, population. Mm -hmm. And with the longest history. And so there is a little bit sad when we see that we do not have, for example, in Korea an uh, ITF membership. And one <coughs> small uh, story from 2011, when we had the World Championship in New Zealand, the uh, city major, a lady, she was asking us about Taekwondo and a little bit about the history. And the final question was, I'm wondering, because you have a very good structure, you have many countries here representing their continents, but you do not have a member from Korea. And this was something, uh, well, this is a motivation to change it for the future. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the last continent, uh, Europe, is the most uh, developed continent, but also we have still some You work ve very a lot about Europe in the past, and what is your idea for the Europe in the future? Well, I think the All European Taekwondo Federation uh, did a super job in the last 15 years with the team. You are also in the team. Thank you. And uh, under the leadership of Master uh, Loboda. Um, the structure is good. We have a, a, a big advantage because we do not have big distances in Europe. We can connect it uh, very soon. The trips are short not like the big continents, South America or uh, Africa. And, and we have uh, better weather conditions, and so we do not have these big problems. But still we have some small countries, mm -hmm. and also there we have to do something. North America is a large continent. North America, well, it's dominated by Canada and the United okay. States, uh, but uh, also uh, according to our um, rules and regulations in the ITF, we have some smaller countries there mm -hmm. and we have to motivate the big countries to help the neighbors as brothers in Taekwondo. Okay. Okay. Gran Maestro, ¿cómo, ¿cómo usted piensa que va a trabajar para que la ITF sea reconocida, por ejemplo, por, por el Gates o por otras organizaciones internacionales del deporte? Well, the work to be recognized by an international sports federation like GAIS. This is a, a project for a long-term plan. So this we cannot achieve in a very short period of time. I am very sure about that. But our members in many countries, they need some support and some security. And therefore, uh, it is our plan to develop a program and a structure to become a member. According to the requirements of GAIS, for example, this is not easy, especially when we have already another Taekwondo Federation recognized by GAIS and the requirements are very strong. That means the minimum for the bidding process mm -hmm. is to have 40 countries uh, in the membership of our ITF, being recognized either by the National Olympic Committee, the Ministry of Sport, or the Sport Commission in that specific country. So this is some work we have to prepare, and of course we need the help and support of the country itself. So when we have 40 countries, then we have the opportunity for the bidding process. This is not a guarantee to be recognized, but at least then we have fulfilled the requirements. Mm -hmm. And this is a work, in a, I suppose, in a middle to long-term plan. So. The master, what is your idea about the Asia Games? Well, the Asia Games, beside the International uh, uh, Olympic Games, are the most important uh, for Asia. But it's not for Asia itself. It's also the reputation. When you are a part of these Asian Games, and um, I have some connections I try to, uh, to use for that. Uh, when you are part of the Asian Games, this is also a very good reputation for our uh, ITF worldwide. 
And this is also something I suppose to have short to middle term. That means when you speak about a long term is from six to eight, ten years. When I speak about the middle to a long term, this is from three to, to eight, nine years. And uh, we have to calculate this time. But uh, I'm working on it. ¿Cómo es la idea de que haya dos mujeres en el board de la ITF? Well, you may know uh, that Europe is a continent which have already one lady on the yeah. board, which is a good uh, is a good start. And uh, I think the time is right now uh, because so far the International Martial Art Federation, especially our Taekwondo ITF. Uh, uh, is and was dominated by men. I think the time is right now to do another step in the future. And well, it is the goal in a short term, that means one to four, three, four years, to have women on the board in the ITF and in each committee, and also a women committee itself. So, with that, I think we have more opportunities for democratic procedures and the requirements I mentioned guys before mm -hmm. are um, fixed that we need women on the board and also in committees so this is also a goal we have to, to fulfill yeah, Maestro, ¿cómo va a continuar el legado de Gimnacho y Kungi? Well, from my point of view, Genova Che developed a wonderful martial art which has a long history already and which is one of the best we have uh, in the world. We, of course, we are living now in modern times. Mm -hmm. We have to ad uh, amend things to become a modern federation. And the structure of the federation has been changed after General Che passed away and will be also changed in the future but we should not touch his legacy. That means Taekwondo should remain authentic. Of course, we have some influence from outside. And I look on the competition, then the hand techniques, for example, are different than the hand techniques we had many years ago. But uh, uh, Taekwondo should remain authentic, especially with the patterns and our former president, uh, Grandmaster Tran Tre Kwan, he defined Taekwondo as a martial art, as a sport, a way of life, and as a tool to develop our society. So it's not only kicking and punching. So we have more to offer to our members, and this you will find in the word Do, and this we have to follow too. So this is also something to take into consideration for our future development. Gran Maestro, ¿quién lo va a acompañar en la comisión directiva de la futura, eh, futuro gobierno de la ITF? Well, uh, General Che, our founder, when he was the president of the Federation, he did almost everything and we cannot uh, do the same. We can mm -hmm. only work as a team. Mm -hmm. And when we look back in history, when General Che passed away in 2003, we went as a team in 2007 in Canada, we, in 2011 in, in New so. Zealand, in 2015 in Italy. So I only see a chance to work in a good way for the ITF uh, as a team. Mm -hmm. And the, the team members uh, of course, I, I made some uh, thinking about it, uh, who could be uh, in the team or who I want to work with. Of course, I want to work with people with experience, but I also want to have younger people coming uh, on the board. This is our future, uh, women, women on the board. And with this mixture, I, I am very uh, have a confidence that we can achieve a lot, but it is very important that on the board we trust each other and the people I trust the most I want to work with, of course. And with this trust, 
uh, I'm very convinced that we can uh, achieve a lot. Uh, well, the members finally at the Congress, they will decide who will be on the board. But if the members trust me, then um, of course I have the confidence to work with the team. And uh, this is my future vision. Okay, thank you very much, Grand Master. And uh, all the best. Thank you. Thank you for your time thank and you. all the best for you too. Thank, thank you. Sir. you.